So here's what itemized deductions actually are. They are mortgage interest. <laughs> so please note, the chances are good that if you're a renter, you don't itemize, okay? It, it is definitely meant to favor the homeowner, okay? That's first and foremost. So mortgage interest, state and local taxes capped at $10,000. That cap was a tax change that happened in 2017. There's some controversy around it, and we may one day see that cap come off again. There used to be no cap, but there is right now a $10,000 cap on your state and local um, taxes. So mortgage interest, state and local taxes capped at $10,000, charitable contributions, and medical expenses only once they exceed 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. Okay. That's all kind of a mouthful, but please note those four items. Those are itemized deductions. And so if you have a combination of charitable contributions, state and local taxes up to $10,000, medical expenses only over 7.5% of your adjusted gross income and or mortgage interest, and they exceed the standard deduction, then you will be one of those taxpayers who itemizes, okay? Most of you listening don't itemize. Most taxpayers in the US, 90% take the standard deduction. So chances are good you don't itemize. <laughs> and I just wanna reassure you, you never heard me say anything about business deductions in itemizing. They're not related. Your business deductions, and we will get to this, go in a Schedule C, and the Schedule C isn't the Schedule A. They're two different things. 